For those that are familiar with some of my older videos, you might have seen a video tutorial that I did about using the Font Awesome font, uh, a way to put iconography in a font-based form into your e-learning projects. Well, I've decided to pursue a different approach to that using the font-based icon for material design icons that you'll find in the Android and Google uh, user interface language. And what I'll do today is show you uh, the process that I figured out for adding this to your Adobe Captivate eLearning projects. So the first thing you need to do is actually right click on your Captivate 2019 icon. Uh, maybe it's on your taskbar or maybe you've got a shortcut on your desktop. And just so simply go to the properties for that item. And of course, you'll see the opportunity to click on open file location. We're going to do that now. And that's going to bring you to the program files slash Adobe slash Adobe Captivate 2019 X64 folder. And we're looking for a folder called HTML. So I'm going to go into the HTML folder and I'm looking for a file called index.html. Now this is the source file Captivate uses when it, when it publishes out your HTML5 based project uh, so that it renders all the stuff that it needs to correctly. And you can actually add your own code to this file. I will say that do this at your own risk, of course. I don't want you uh, mucking up your file. And if you're not confident editing an HTML file, I would recommend against this approach. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this file now. And I'm just going to right click on it and open with, in this case, Notepad. And we need, need to add a line of code. And this code will communicate with uh, Google's uh, open font uh, website, of course, and let you, uh, let you take advantage of the material design icon that's available up on the web. So there's no need for you to install this font uh, on your web server or your learning management system. So I'm going to paste this in just below the head entry and just hit enter there. So now I have an entry that points to Google Fonts, specifically to the material design icon. And now, of course, I'm just going to save this to my desktop. Uh, I save it to my desktop because if you try to save it within the folder itself, you may run into some problems there. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop, close this window, and then I'm going to right click and drag this, uh, this resulting index.html file on my desktop into the folder. We'll just say move here. Uh, it will prompt me to replace the file in the destination. We are dealing with system files, so you're going to also get prompted with this uh, administrator permission uh, prompt as well. So just hit continue and then it will overwrite the original index.html file there. So at that point, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a web browser and we're going to go to the material icons guide. Uh, I have a link for this in the description below so you can find this yourself quite easily. And we're looking for the icon fonts for the web. So click that link, it will bring you down the page a little bit here. In fact, here is where I got that code that we just inserted into our index.html file. We're going to scroll down a little bit and find the icon font here. And we're just going to right click on that and open that into a new tab. And this is going to open up a GitHub file where you can download the appropriate true type font so that when you're working on your e-learning project, you'll be able to see, of course, the exact font that you'll be using. And of course, all the icons that are contained within that font. Uh, true type is what I need here. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm just going to click on download. And in this case here, I'm going to save that to my desktop. Once downloaded, of course, I can minimize the browser here. I'll also close this properties uh, window. And I'm just going to right click on this and install. Uh, it is prompting me that I'm overwriting it because I have installed it before. And once it's installed, of course, you can delete this item on your desktop here. 
So from this point now, what we can do is we can open up Adobe Captivate. And I'm going to use an older project. In fact, it's the project that I used to create my premium course that's available over on udemy.com. If you'd like to see that premium course and, uh, of course, get the files associated with it, you can follow the link in the upper right-hand corner here. So you can see here I have buttons for back, I have buttons for reset, submit, and next. And what I want to do is replace those with, uh, instead of having English words, I want to use iconography to represent all of those. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to use the character map built into Windows and select the material design icon font and go through and find appropriate fonts or in this case appropriate icons for each of those symbols. So I'm going to replace all my buttons with that now. So as you can see here I found appropriate fonts for back, reset, Submit is going to be a check mark in this case, and my next button will be this uh, right arrow. And I've done that for all of the slides within this project. The only thing left to do now is to test that out. And the best way to test it out anytime you're using a web based font is to test it out with a completely different device. Uh, the reason for that is if I simply preview this on my computer right now, I have the material design icon installed, so it'll, it'll look fine. But I want to test it on a different device to make sure that uh, it's going to work well for everybody. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll use the live preview on device feature and we'll select that. Now, what that's going to do is generate a QR code, essentially like a barcode, that I can use the camera app in my iOS device to just point that at the barcode and it will prompt me to open it up in a browser window. And we'll see here, of course, that we now have those icons rendered uh, effectively on the screen there. So this is a great way to come out with some interesting buttons, some use some interesting iconography in your uh, Adobe Captivate eLearning project. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.